Hello, um, um, this is like a, the third episode, and I'm going to show you like my process of doing the research for those uh, the apps currently in the market. It's coding app concept design from research to flow chart number three, and my goal is to the construct like those three apps into flow charts and find some inspirations out of those three apps. Yeah, okay, so let me make it larger. So um, I find out that Udacity is a really cool app and uh, so far when I saw those, when I see those apps, the classes, they are all free, so I feel excited, and uh, uh, they have a lot of cool topics such as like machine learning, and some like conceptual um, thinking, like technology stuff. So, I mean, after uh, doing the research, I kind of wanna to put it like uh, kind of wanna learn stuff. So I register an account. And I'm really excited to uh, learn from it. So basically, the structure is like iOS design. You see, like iOS, they have like a small button um, in, at uh, at the bottom of the screen, because like uh, for iOS, it's it's cool to just like uh, see everything like from the front page, including the navigate the navigation. So the the main navigation will be here, so it's cool to see like uh, uh, the first, uh, the first navigation. Oh, sorry, the first navigation will be enrollment. Yeah, and then the second one will be catalog, uh, and the third one will be settings. So um, this is th this kind of. Um, home button or home page is really easy and simple to use and uh, the sub nav you can see like they have like a different uh, categories that uh, we will discuss later on and it's definitely like an iOS um, design so let's see the flow chart like the whole app uh, usually I screenshot each different screens and then print it out and then do the flow chart do the uh, kind of flow chart and screen by screen and draw some lines and to learn how the uh, work flows but uh, right now I am more like a, um, just play around the app and then I uh, did the uh, kind of like a draw on paper and pen and uh, draw on the paper and then I kind of figure out like how the whole flow goes so I kind of like do the simplified version of little bit flow chart little bit wireframes and more like key screens so I kind of ignore for example like sign with Facebook just you know just login page you can design so many different types of login page and including like forget password or like sign with Facebook, sign with Google or sign with other social media. So I mean like a, uh, this is a sim simple version of the uh, flow chart and wireframes. So um, when I first download Udacity, then I kind of open the app and uh, I saw the uh, landing landing. Landing means like the first screen you see, yeah, um, like uh, in website, landing page and home page is kind of different ideas for, but for me, I like to use like a landing to show that, oh, this is the first that I land to this page, yeah, okay, then um, it's kind of like a sign page page like force you to sign because like there's no other button except like sign in button and when you sign in, they have like a four different buttons for example like oh forget password sign with Facebook or Google sign up it means like create an account 
and、uh, enter email and password. If you have、um, your email and password, you can just enter it. Yeah. So this is kind of like the first part of signing. Yeah. And then after you sign in, you can see like there's like a three buttons like a、uh, enrollments. Catalog、um, settings. So when you first sign in, you will go to settings, and I kind of active the setting、uh, that button. Yeah. So、uh, you will have your first name, last name, and then your nickname and your email, or you can sign out as well, and or contact us. Like、uh, other stuff, like oh, push the notification. For example, if you wanna have like some notification which kind of、uh, pop up,、uh, even though you are not using the app,、um, you can do that as well. And then the second one, if you wanna、uh, active the catalog one, you will see like uh, uh, the, the the banner. Uh, the banner is more like a featuring, like a feature classes, such as they have like a AI machine learning, and uh, uh, like a big data, like web design. There's like a flash of like a different banners to show to feature like what kind of class you might interest, in, or like the newest、uh, class or the most popular classes. Okay, then.、Um, It's like a、uh, they have like different categories such as like a web design, data, IT, backend, AIP, API or something. Yeah. So I mean, so when you when you see like that, it's really cool that that they out and then you kind of scroll down to the the this screen and then you can see like different classes. So it's really convenient. Yeah. And then,、um, when if you click on one of the class, and you will jump to the class, like the screen of the class, and then、um, you can see like、uh, oh, the、uh, video or like、uh, the、um, the description of the videos, or the this is kind of like a.、Uh, Uh, interactive nav bar or like different tabs for you to choose. Like for example, like I want to learn more about this type of class, or this is just beginner. I want to learn the intermediate or advanced level. And then there's like a, a tab. If you click, oh, this is kind of like a, a, a coding coding class. They will have a you will see a tab which is like coding class. And if you click. And they will like you will go to a, a page which lists out all the related like coding、uh, classes, and then there is like an instructor as well. If you kind of scroll、um, scroll right, scroll left, <laughs> kind of forget. Okay, so if you kind of scroll it, you will see like instructor.、Uh, when you click in instructor page, and you will see. Uh, the the details of the instructor like a bio of is the instructor, and then this will be the details. What will you learn? Um, like a what uh like a or like a syllabus like a the whole like lesson one, lesson two, lesson three. So this is really convenient. And、uh, if you click one of those tabs under the video. You will see the whole categories of the similar or the same track of、uh, this class, yeah. And there, there will you will see like oh the title and then the description. And you can scroll over and you will see more, yeah. And once you click this and in the enrollment, uh, uh, it will auto add to the enrollment and. Also, it will show you like the progress. For example, I finished like forty five percent of the video, and、uh, yeah, and then you can continue continue to add the classes, and yeah, it will show more once you are yeah once you interacted with 
with the、uh, class. Yeah. So this is a really really simple and cool app. They、uh, you only have three, you see three categories, and then、um, each one mean are equally important, like settings. Or like categories. Once you click the categories,、uh, it will auto add to your enrollment, and then it will continue add up. So I feel like this is so simple and so useful. Yeah, this is a really great design. Okay, so this is Udacity. Then let's move on to Linda.com. Yeah,、uh, basically, I, I enroll Linda.com. Like for, uh, for I think since I was study in our center, I got a free account. After I graduated from our center, I, I was kind of continuing subscribe, cause they have so many classes like a business, like, uh, um, like nearly everything you wanna learn, you can find on Linda dot com. And it's not really specific targeting,、uh, for example, like design or like for example, like a, a character design or some super specific、uh, topic. But、uh, it's a little bit of genetic, so I I kind of like it because, like for example, like a,、uh, I just subscribe it, and when I encounter some stuff that I must learn within like a few weeks or. I must learn it. For example, like、uh, I want to learn Flinto, and I went online. I saw like oh, like little bit of everything out there. Like you know, like、uh, when I go YouTube and saw like different types of、uh, Flinto, like the softwares,、uh, different、uh, types of、uh, how how can I make an animation. App animation to show the behaviors,、um, Flinto, and there's tons of、uh, tutorials out there. I don't know where to find because it's lacking of structure. So I usually go to Linda.com and type Flinto, and whatever I type, I always can get some at least some blogs or some weird things out there. And I find out the whole section of Flinto. It's not really,、uh, you know, like a、mm, uh, really, really deep or something. But you can get a general idea about Flinto first. And after that, I go to YouTube and choose whatever I want. So、uh, Linda dot com for me, it's more like I just watch. Just sit there and force myself to watch the whole thing within one or two hours, and I get the overall general ideas. Then I jump to YouTube or some other、uh, more specific、uh, topic and kind of learn on my own. So Linda dot com, I think it's a really good structure, like a basic. If you wanna do like, I know they have like advanced, but. Sometimes I find out that it's so good to just learn the basic and intermediate and jump to the super specific topic. At least you know、uh, the whole structure. Yeah. So yeah, I, I mean it's cool. And then、um, yeah. So I think when I download the app, I didn't really use the the app. I use the the computer, like the desktop version, like their. Their website.、Uh, I this is the first time that I download Linda. dot com because I know that you can download your、uh, you can download a Chrome class.、Uh, you can download it、uh, on your phone.、Uh, but I find out since my、uh, storage room is not a lot, so I I usually use my my desktop. And、uh, besides, I need like Wi Fi or like. Sometimes if I am in my car, then it's just inconvenient to use phone version. I rather sit on the desk in front of desktop and learn everything. Yeah, I'm miserable for one or two hours, and then I can get a pretty good foundation of the topic that I want to learn. Yeah, so Linda.com is 
I mean, it's kind of like my uh, my another Google. I would say like if I don't know anything, I just Google it. But sometimes there are too many information in Google, so I don't know which one to see, which one is more important. So I come to reading.com and then I, I kind of Google it and I find some topic and then I kind of sit there because it's so well structured. I just sit there for one or two hours and I get overall ideas. Then I jump into other blogs or just type Google and I know which one to see. Yeah, so that's the way that I learn. So uh, it's faster. Yeah. Okay, so let's see how Linda.com structure their app. Okay, you see like the tab, like the, the hamburger. And then when you click hamburger, there's like a, uh, a drawer out there. So it's Android design. Yeah, if you want to see like the difference between Android and iOS, you can go to iOS like a uh, developer and they have like a, some, um, some stuff you can take a look. And Android, you can see their material, like Android app, like some materials. And uh, there are some websites talking about like, uh, like Android design and iOS design. Basically, iOS is more um, user friendly, and uh, uh, they have certain styles of uh, design. For example, like uh, let me, let me show you this one. Like they like to put their navigation down here, and then they like to put their title down here, and then if you get used to use iOS, you couldn't really bear with <laughs> Android. It's weird, like. Yeah, people love Apple's design. They just love it. So in iOS design, it's more restricted. For example, like uh, uh, your icon should be that big and uh, your text or like uh, there are certain ways to design iOS. And iOS, you uh, uh, if you really like iOS design, you can see there is only one color to emphasize the interactive part for you to know like oh which part is active which part is inactive and they use gray as or black or monochrome mon just one color as some part some areas it's not like a in for example like gray areas is inactive and somewhere uh, you see like the branding color, like for example, like blue or yellow, uh, it's active part. Yeah. And then if some area you can see like the outline of the, uh, the branding color or certain color, it's kind of like active. And then if you see a gray area to cover a certain area, gray color to cover a certain area, it's kind of like an overlay or some other stuff so uh, uh, iOS you can see like uh, uh, they have more strict uh, design uh, while um, Android Android is more creative uh, or like uh, like everywhere because there are not many roles for Android so for example if you see iOS the icon in iOS uh, are all you know outlines like a gray outlines and then uh, as far as like a Android design it's more colorful and uh, it's not outline it's color filled so like those two different types of uh, designs are really different yeah so when you see like hamburger and on top and then there's a drawer and it's kind of more like Android design. Android design is more towards developer or like computer geeks. So they are, they get used to use this type of like, a, you know, drawer, uh, hamburger. So you see like, if you see this type of app design, it's more uh, targeting or their first, uh, like their targeting users are more uh, using like Samsung or Android phone, yeah. So uh, when you go to the landing, uh, and I find out there are, they 
have significantly different、uh, kind of like a landing page、uh, if before signing and after you sign. Yeah. So for example, like uh, uh, when you if you didn't sign, for example, I got an account but I didn't sign in. I will land to a library, yeah. Which I will see all the different features first. Then when I click the hamburger, I will see like oh login, or like a oh library, um like subscribe now, become a member. It's more like kind of want wanting you to just sign or just pay something, yeah. So. Yeah, and you will see like different categories. For example, like a featured, three D animation, audio music, uh, like a uh design developer, and I T, and web design, photography, videos, uh, like marketing, so on. And you can scroll down to see more categories. If you click one of the categories. You will see, like for example, like oh, uh, let me see, oh, uh, the show topics. So for example, like oh, if there's like, uh, Linda. dot com will categorize their videos or their lessons throughout topics, or like a show softwares. For example, like oh, I use if you wanna learn like a user experience or UX UI design, maybe the. Well, categorized by like UXP, Auxure,、um, Sketch, Flinto, or Envision. Yeah, sorting by、uh, those softwares, and then see. I mean, like Linda. dot com is so good at marketing. So everywhere they will force you, like give you a little thing that oh excites you, and then later on there is a big button like I'll、oh, buy it now. Yeah, so、uh, there's like a become a member under like all the topics, all the softwares, and then these are the classes or like a top classes. Yeah, when you click in, they want you to. They have a small trader, and then later on, just like all locked like other classes besides the introduction, they were all locked. Uh, there's a big button says、oh, "Enroll now" or "Try now," Tr- free trial now. Yeah, so yeah. But after you sign, it's like a more. I would say it's more casual, and、uh, they they give you more choice. So, uh, you landing on the homepage, which is like your previous classes, your、uh, courses, and then you go to the profile. A profile is like a home, and then like a library, my classes, my playlist, my course、uh, history, and settings. Contact us and log out. Yeah, so this is the profile. And when I click in, and then I can see like, oh, those are the class. Uh, yeah, and which one I see, which one I didn't see, and I can kind of like. Uh, download it on my phone. Yeah. So、uh, if I click library, I will go into the this the the same one, but everything is unlocked. So yeah, I find out this is a really really good user experience as well as far as Android design. Because Android design,、uh, people find out it's too like if you you get used to、uh, iOS design. You will find out Android is like God. I don't want to use Android phone. It's so hard to use. Yeah, and everything's everywhere. Colors everywhere. It's just hard to use. So yeah, I mean, but it's so good that、uh, Linda. dot com is pretty good using Android's drawer combined with like、um, really good like、uh, information sorting. Yeah, to make the app. Yeah. Okay, so and then I I was trying to find like a scratch, but scratch is it costs like a point ninety nine dollars for an app like that 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 little cat for kids like like coding that that app, 
and、uh, I think should I do that? And I did. I I I saw like the features on the Apple Store, and I find out oh, it's just like a drag and drop, drag and drop, and yeah. And I think maybe there are better coding apps, game apps out there. So I did some research, and I didn't see Code Combat. Uh, that app that probably has only the the desktop version,、uh, but I find out there's one called, uh, like the Code Fools. I I forget the name, but it's kind of fun to to just like, um,、uh, uh, uh, browsing through and just kind of click and interact with all the little buttons and. Beating like a, one the the first game is Snoopy beating the snowman. It was like so funny, but it's I mean I wish I could have more compl complicated code so I can、uh, be more engaged. For example, like a fun fun game like which I care. I don't really care about Snoopy and fighting snowman. I wish they can kind of have like some, some smarter or like something that I really care about. Or some intriguing story rather than like trying to beat up all the snowmen. I mean, some. I mean, like the the story should be even fun or like、uh, entertaining for young adults or adults or old adults, whatever. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean. But you know this app, it cost me like a seven ninety nine, and I was like, okay, I just did the trial version. I don't wanna really pay it. I mean, it's really fun, but I mean, I wanna learn more events. I don't wanna just throw, like, play with snowman. Okay, that that's it. Yeah. Okay. So for the structure, they have like a. Like each one is different games, so you can kind of flip through, yeah, each game. And this is the the profile. If you click, you will go to profile and your trophies, your coins, or you can switch your account. And the second one is the home. It's it the the phone should be placed in horizontal. Cause I when I try to do the vertical one, it's totally locked. So you can only do the、uh, horizontal one, and I really enjoy the you know like everything just so intuitive and so easy and so fun and the music is good and I feel so happy while I was playing it and the visual stuff interactive stuff is cool. Yeah, it's more game design, simple and easy, and it's fun. I wish I could get a little bit of education out of this. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I'm. I think I'm too smart for this game. It's like a three three year old like the requirement intelligence. I think I'm kind of much above that three years old intelligence. Okay, let's see. Um, landing. When I click in, I can see my profile, my name, my trophy, and my coins. Okay, close it, and then I can click one of them. When I click, oh, it's a little boy, and there's like a big finger, and there's an arrow. It, you cannot miss it, you know. You, you won't mess up this to this, cause there's an arrow and there's a finger, so it's kind of two highlights. So, so I, I know, I know who I am. I'm not that poo poo monster. I'm this handsome boy. Okay, so when I click in. Yeah, you see, like I just followed a finger, and I didn't do anything. I just followed a finger, so I clicked that, and then I saw, oh, there's a stone, and there's a kind of walking step, and then I put, oh, I need to walk, ah,、uh, towards right, and then I saw a stone. Yeah, you need to go, you know, walk right, turn right. And then you need to store a stone in order to beat that poo poo monster. So after this, I click OK. I'm done. And then when I do this, and、uh, yeah, I successfully beat the poo poo monster. 
yeah, this is a pretty good uh, uh, interactive design, and I really appreciate that. You know, it's just so intuitive that you don't really need to,、um, you know, learn. Like look, sometimes learning is miserable because、uh, you need to do something that is not your nature, so you feel like kind of a little pain, but. Yeah, it's like a working out. You feel your muscles sore, but after、uh, working out for a few weeks, you kind of feel not that sore because you kind of adapt. Like the new things is part of yourself, part of your blood. But this one is kind of like, yeah, I I, I don't feel pain or. <laughs> Okay, I lower my intelligence to like three years old, but I just feel it's so intuitive, it's so so fun, and and、uh, I wish that this kind of concept I can kind of like integrate with like the previous Linda dot com, um, this kind of app and、uh, this type of app. I like the simplicity of those two apps. It's just like a, this one is just three. Categories and this one is a big drawer, but you see, like everything is so simple. I don't want to like make people like go out and lost, you know. Like、uh, simple is the best, and this one is really simple, but it's too easy. I mean, come on, I I want more out of this. So yeah, and、uh, I am doing the research of those fun apps. Yeah, kind of analyze everything, and、uh, I'm thinking about after doing the research, I will come up with my own. And I don't know whether those three、uh, deep、uh, research is enough for me to come up with my own. So next week I will try to come up with my own. But if not, I couldn't come up with my own just because、uh, there is not enough. Uh, research. Then I will go back to the research. Maybe another three anal analytics analyze those apps, analyze the current marketing. Will be probably the next episode, and、uh, the next next one I will come up with my own and see how it goes. I mean, I think the design for me is like, okay, today I saw some stuff, then I put my design, and tomorrow. And when I see new things, when I do the new research, and I will come up with a better solution, so I will kind of revise the old one. So design is a circle; it's never linear. Linear, yeah, it's not one way; it's a circle, circular. So I think, yeah, yeah. Thank you for watching, and、uh, hopefully,、uh, I will make my. New app, which is exciting, but I'm a little scared because like this is such a big topic, and personally, I'm learning、uh, Unity right now, and I'm thinking about、uh, maybe someday those two, like this app project, which shows all my process, and、uh, this project and my game project. Maybe someday they will meet together. They are not parallel. They can meet together. Yeah, that one I will. I'm still exploring. Yeah, we will see. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for watching, and、uh, see you next time. Bye bye.